finding Thump a new home. The first thing I find. Let me see. Hey! <laughs> oh, they got a. Thump. There she goes. Look at that. What is going on, Kef I gotta try that again. What is going on, Kefaros? Welcome back to another video. That's how it was supposed to go the first time. Some of you may be saying, Paul, didn't you say you weren't gonna upload today? Yeah, I, I did say that until I picked up the camera and then so on and so forth. Then we just went to the, the editing and then uploading. It's it's a good habit to have, honestly. Not saying I'm gonna post every day. I just, I'm lately I've been on a streak and I just don't want to ruin it, you know? Chilling next to the big fish tank here. And uh, today, Robert Arrington, also known as Deer Meat for Dinner, is coming over and we're finding Thump a new home for like two or three weeks. Not forever. His channel will be linked below and uh, he will be taking care of Thump for the next few weeks while this pond rebuild goes down. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we finished the mini pond dig. All right, so just like last time, I am building the edges with my hands. But one problem. Although he's on his way right now, I don't have a big net to get Thump out of the pond. So, I remember I did buy a big net a while back. What I'm going to do is go into the garage, blind it by the light, and see if I could find a big net to get Thump out of this big pond. And look at this. The first thing I find is a big net. Literally hanging on the side of my garage. What are the chances of that? Look at that. Perfect size. Mega net. This thing is huge. I didn't even know I had this. Literally. Had no idea. You know how many times I've netted fish with little ass nets? And then I find this. Sick. Look at this thing. Dude, oh, you could see it now in the daytime. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Look how deep it gets right there. So deep. It's probably about three and a half feet deep right here. Like, watch the drop. Check that out. Giant piles of dirt everywhere in my yard. Look how green this freaking pond is. Now that pond recently just got that green. It happened probably about two or three days ago. It happens within like a day because I took the UV filter out to give to Robert to have his pond run so that I could bring Thump to his house. So I gave him that UV filter a while ago so he can get his pond cycled. So by the time I was ready to get Thump to his house, I'd have somewhere to put him. So we got somewhere to put Thump now. So it is a little green, but that is not gonna stop us from netting them out of here, putting them in a big cooler, heading to Robert's house and showing you guys the release into his new home until the big pond is rebuilt. For those of you who don't know what's going on, you could see all these rocks on the side of the house and plants, live plants, and that used to be a pond right there and now it's over there. My whole backyard is being rebuilt. A lot of you Kaferos already know this, but if you're new here, I'm Paul Kaferro, and this right here is my backyard. Although it's a mess, it'll be pretty much done and amazing by the end of April, I'm thinking. This fence is also coming down. Like, watch how weak this fence is. Look at that. Look at That's one. Just, just from that, look at that, one, two. So, when they come, that whole fence is coming down and we are, are gonna start rolling stuff through this. The rocks are actually coming before the build, so $3,000 worth of rocks are coming. I got that price, I was like, but and then I, I, I called myself back up and I was like, dude, it's gonna look sick, so I'm, I'm good, I'm good. It's gonna be top notch too, I don't need to worry, but Aquascape is doing it. All right, well, I'm gonna stand right here and wait for Robert to get here. He should be walking through the gate any second now. All right, I'm just gonna turn the camera off and until he gets here. We got the whole squad rolling in here. And uh, what we're doing today is bringing Thump to your house. Now that you've got the filtration system for him, because my pond's like uh, green as it gets right now. Mega cooler coming. He will freak out. I've netted him before with the catch them all to show the viewers and he just took off in the net. If he was to do that in a cast, it. there he is. Yeah, you got him. You got him. Ready? Let me see. Hey! <laughs> oh, they got a bat. Oh my god. Thump, what are you doing? Hold on, let me get up before you take it off. Alright, you guys are about to see probably hold on, hold on, the biggest bass I've ever seen. Dude, he's the size of a walleye. Oh, he's cute. He's Stop. Now we got to do this quick. We need to put him in here and go. Yep. I'll give you guys one quick look, just because he's huge. <laughs> yeah, he's a big fish. Have you seen a fish like that? Better close this thing and get a dolphin up there. Okay, now we got to get some air in him, and off to the other pond we go. All right, look at this. We have the transportation system going on here, but... Come on, look at those 
That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more stressful on the wait, fish, for sure. But he actually made his way into the net himself. And a perfect release right into that cooler there. There goes Thump. Getting this done right here is a process, and it's definitely stressful for not only me, but the fish, of course, as well. But uh, I just want this fish to live. I think it will live. I think it'll be fine. And we did a very good job transporting it into this cooler. And now we got to go to Rob's house and put him into his pond. That went perfectly. Let's hope the rest of this does. And uh, once he's in here, empty out the water, net all the minnows, put all the minnows into like a, we'll make like a cool little cool or something. I'll film that as well. We got so much to do now, and especially having this over with, we have a lot more freedom to move around in the backyard. <laughs> Oh, you guys made it nice. Looks good, huh? Looks good. Looks Gucci. You've got a gar. Look at, dude, you can see how the algae grew already. Yeah. Like, everything is perfect. Now, this is not the way I love to transport a fish into a new home. I like to acclimate them through a bag or something. But when I'm telling you, like, that is a huge fish just to, like, I don't have a bag that would even fit that. So, we're just going to do it. The way we can do it, pick them up and put them in. It's same, same, literally same area in Florida. Same temperature in both my pond and Rob's. So we live in the same place. He's going in. This right here is probably about a nine to 10 pound bass. Just sitting in a cooler. Oh yeah, it's literally the same water temperature. He is huge. Get you set, big girl. Thump. There she goes. Good? Look at that. That's a stud. That is awesome. I don't even know if she'll fit inside of the cinder blocks. She won't. No way. Okay, so all there my bass, all my bass have just been loving life. Like, yeah, this is a cool place to live. We got tons of fish. Now we put that gargantuan in there. They're like, okay, new dynamic. Now we have to watch out for our own safety. Okay, so I think he went this way. Guys, this was literally perfect. Like, I thought the temperatures would be somewhat different, but they're literally the same. I don't know where. He's huge, you can't really miss him. Look how big she is. Look at the stomach on that fish. If you look from above, it really shows the size. Yeah. From over here, it's crazy. Look at the largemouth with her. The other little largemouth. She could definitely eat those if she wanted to. Look at all the filtration going on here. There's my old filter right there. Oh, there's a bigger one. A little bigger of a largemouth yeah. going into the... They're all in there. They live in there. Yeah. Everything lives in the blocks. Like, that's the home. Oh, there she is. Look at that. I love how she swims. She, like, they see the fins, they flutter out. It's a big old home for her. This is I think going she up. likes it, dude. I honestly think she does. She's moving around a lot. She's curious. And she, you can tell just she's very comfortable. In That's what I'm saying. You would think when you put her in, the first thing she'd do is go to the side and just like turn light colored, stressed out, and tuck into the side. She's literally just cruising around, having fun with all the other bass. So now I can go home and we can actually get stuff done back there because we can remove that pond. Alrighty, well, that is it. Rob, thank you once again. No worries, if you guys brother. haven't done so already, check out Deer Meat for Dinner's channel. I'll have it linked in the description and uh, also the icon at the end of this video. Guys, that is Stump's new home for the pat for the la for the next week or two, maybe even three weeks, if so. Uh, look at her. I can't stop showing her. There's three different bass right there just cruising. Look at that. Alright, so she is moving through the lilies. As you can see, that giant head coming out of there. Oh yeah. Gosh. Well, right. so what do you what do you end up feeding her when when I'm gone? And I could always get you something if you I need do, it. Because I don't want her to turn aggressive to my bass, and I've got two African cichlids and two gar. I don't want her to get real aggressive, so I'll keep them fed. I I feed them about every other day. I, I go get a dozen shiners. She might eat seven or eight shiners on her own. Oh yeah, check that out. And those Mayan cichlids. Sorry to tell you, but I don't know how long they'll be in there for. <laughs> If she finds them, well, she can't get in that. She's too big, so if those cichlids just stay in there and keep their distance, I think they'll be fine. But I really appreciate it, Rob. No worries, brother. 
Alrighty. When I'm talking, she's happy. She is definitely happy.